Okay. Guess the diameter is wrong on that. Well, that's not very nice. I can't. I can't have that. Well, I messed up and I cut the diameter wrong. Uh, it, all the way back to the the art for the rotor was wrong. Uh, so I fixed all that. Had to regenerate it. I'm not even going to bother trying to resurrect this side. I'm just going to set G54 to over here and recut these, and uh, should be good to go. All right. Let's see if we have a little better look this time. Yes. I don't care about rotational here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right on the money. Cool. I, I expected that to be a little loose. I wasn't too worried about that. Um, and I can just clock them all either way, but uh, yeah. Oh, it, it fits perfect. I can clamp that down using my buddy Aaron's uh, speed handle. And I'll be able to do the, uh, the machining on here. Open up the center and then redrill the uh, four holes. All right, well, I got the jaws cut here for the uh, to machine a G20, Infinity G20 rotor to work with the Datsun 411 uh, disc brake kit. Um, and when I did the jaws, I did my origin right here on this corner, okay, G54. I should probably get rid of that engraving because I have it set the origin for the brake rotor for this surface and the center of the hole. And I'm kind of torn. Technically, I could just use this reference, but that reference is off the part, which is okay. I don't have a problem with that. But I have had an issue sometimes with the rotors not being perfectly concentric. Okay, and I know the center hole is going to be uh, my best datum. I think I have eight rotors to do this time. Well, once I find the first one, the reference isn't moving anywhere. I can just drop another rotor in there uh, and I should be good to go. Uh, provided, you know, the outside dimension, the same one I'm worried about. Hmm, interesting. And now that I'm thinking about it, I need, I have to double check. I need to take the datum off the top here, which I'm pretty sure I did. So belay what I said earlier uh, about it being off the top of the jaw. I'm doing chamfers around these holes, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to take the datum off of the inside of the rotor here, so I knew for sure that height. Um, if I take it off the jaw down there, or the other side, then there could be a variance in thickness there, which shouldn't be much, but just in case. Once I find the datum off the rotor, thing is, is since the rotor's drawn up and, well, yeah, there we go. The How it grabs uh, around the outside there, uh, if that dimension is off a little bit, it's going to throw the center off. So it's better I find it to the center of the rotor. Now, it shouldn't move from rotor to rotor. And I may have to check the second one just to be sure. Appears to have done a pretty nice job. Gee, feels round. <laughs> I don't know how much uh, it'll show. I think the center hole is... Alright, these are set for three inches. Man, that's really close.
All right, center hole is big enough. These holes aren't quite. See, and that's why I want them drilled closer to the correct size. Okay, I drilled them out on the drill press to the next size bigger because of the way I have it in there and that registration pin isn't tight. Um, I, I can't put it back in there and get it accurate. So uh, I just, since that's the only thing that's off, I just redrilled them. So let's see here. Now I might need a bigger chamfer in the center there. I think I might make that chamfer just a little bit uh, bigger, just to make sure that it's not held up there at all. It's not bad, but I get it tighter with the sleeves, so I think what I'm going to have to do is rewrite it a little bit. Instead of drilling a hole, since I don't seem to be able to... I, yeah, I'd need a ream, maybe. Cast iron. Ugh, I think I might have killed one drill bit already, but... Uh, Damn, I really wanted to just drill them. Nine minutes apiece on these. Might just be quicker to do them on the lathe. Yeah, we are still stuck on the holes, so... 